Hello guys and welcome to episode 4 of Mega Construction Scouring Attack with me Petit Plum and me Howling Westy. So in this video guys we are going to be building the control tower because this area has been blank for a little bit now and we thought we need a natural control tower. I'm going to be honest I've got some pretty exciting plans for how I'm going to make this pretty cool. So Corey what ha should we just start with a like, base building and then all the good stuff's gonna happen underground? Sound like a plan? Um, well, I have an idea for how the control tower itself could look. Okay. So, what we could do is we could maybe split up and one of us work on the control tower and the other one work on the underground. Yeah, that sounds fusion, like a plan. Reactors, stuff, whatever you're doing. Yes. Okay, so we'll be right back once we've sorted all that out. Okay guys, so as you can see, we now have a bit more of the tower built, so we've got the basic infrastructure ha like happening, and I'm building an elevator all the way down to the underground basement, which we're going to have. I have built it quite far down, because I don't. it's going to be quite a big room, I don't really want it to have any chance of hitting the overworld or anything, and plus it means I can also expand it upwards if I want more floors or whatever underground. So yeah, how are you coming along with the building of the walls, Corey? Um, I am currently building the uh, top of the control tower. Okay. It's going to be quite hard to do, so I don't know how long it's going to take me. But, for the time being, I am going to be working on the underground. So as you can see, this is how far down it goes. It's quite far, to be honest. It probably didn't need to go down that far, but... Hmm, I think that is... I could probably, like, raise it up just a little bit, but we'll see how it goes. So yeah, we'll be back when we have more to show you guys. Okay, guys, so as you can see, the elevator shaft has just about finished and as you can see the elevator shaft has basically been completed I believe okay I'm there may be a slight error I've done it with the wrong laboratory blocks but I think unintentionally it has given the shaft quite a, a bit of a nicer feel really it's broken up the profile just a little bit would you not agree Corey? I think you're a madhead now I just have the slightly annoying problem of actually making the elevator work now. Well, I say annoying problem. It shouldn't be too difficult. But, like, uh, there is a, a reason to why I've made the elevator shaft so large, but let's see. Let's pick up all these laboratory blocks, which have just... Actually, there wasn't that many of them, actually, but yeah. Let's delete these. And, Corey, I have a little bit of a plan. So my plan is to have the elevator be here. So I think this is this is going to be the appropriate floor level. So what's going to happen is the elevator is essentially going to be a 3x3 three three platform. But it's going to have walls to it, unlike the other elevators that, are, that we've used previously. So it's going to be more like a real life elevator. Yes, that's what I'm going for. I'm not entirely sure how if it's going to work, but uh, we can try it. That is my plan anyways. I'm thinking um, maybe it should be a 3x3. Three three. I was going to go for a 3x3, three three, but now I've realised I have a bigger shaft, it can be slightly bigger than a 3x3. Three three. You want me? So I think I'm going to have the elevator... Con um, the elevator computer. I'm not sure if this actually has to be connected to the elevator. So I think I'm going to have that here. And the floor marker, I believe, has to be four above, which is there. So I believe this could work. I'm not going to, like, say anything for definite. But this hopefully should work. I'm going to cover all this up so you're not going to, like, see the skeleton of the elevator. But hopefully this should work. I have high hopes for it, although you can't really... I think I am. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to raise this up just so you actually can ac access the um, so you can actually access the floor marker. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the um, this the elevator tool and I'm gonna go down to the bottom. And I'm gonna mark where I want the elevator to go. So I, th I believe it's four up. So one, two, three, and then the floor marker. I believe that's how you do it. I've just thought, I've just lined all this elevator shafting, but I don't think it was entirely necessary. But it's a nice touch. So I am going to 
Could you not have um, windows on the elevator? That could be a possibility, but you're not really going to get much of a view, I'm, I must admit, once you're on the elevator. So you could, like, uh, replace one of the irons with glass or something on the elevator blocks? Um, that's a possibility. I, I'm just going to get it working first, then I'm going to experiment with a design, but I think this should look relatively cool. Okay, so let's put the floor marker there, and I think to be able to get down the shaft, I'm just going to have this temporarily. Let's see, so let's put this in maintenance mode, add that. Oh, I, I, I need to find the elevator blocks first. Elevator block must, must, elevator not, block cannot be found, not be found. El, a block must be set within three meters of another elevator block. Oh, here we go, so now it's working. I just have to bind these ones first. Let's see, let's have that, 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 that. And hopefully this should work. Let's see, so now all of these are bound to the elevator. And let's go and bind this floor marker. And hopefully, due to how things work, I don't believe that that's that's an elevator block. That should be a floor marker. So yes, hopefully, Corey, this should work. I've got my eyes on it. Okay, so let's bound bind that floor marker. And hopefully, now if I go to here, somehow we have. Three floors. I'm not really sure how that's happened, but I believe if I do give to 19, the entire elevator should. Hmm. Okay, that would appear to be a little bit of a glitch. So now I've done that, we appear to have a bit of floating elevator just casually just going down with us. But I believe the physical elevator should. Yeah, here we go. So the physical elevator is now here. So it has, in a sense, worked. So yeah, we'll, I'll do a few tweaks and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So as you can see, we found I found a slightly more nifty way of actually clearing it and using an ender quarry, and using it as basically as quick as it will go. As you can see, it is it's pretty much going very very fast. Yeah, I don't know how big you actually need this area though. Um, it's not going to be this big. Don't worry. It's going to run from about here, I believe, to here. So it's going to be... I probably did make it a bit too tall, but there is a reason for it being so tall. So I'll be back once we have more to show you guys. Okay guys, so as you can see, we've made a little bit more progress, and we've now... The Ender Quarry is finished, and I'm basically putting, making a bit of a box with the filler. I am going to break up the room a little bit. It's not just going to be solid laboratory blocks all the way through, because it, I suppose that would be, be a bit boring. But yeah, nice. for the time being, though, I am just going to stick with this theme and just sort of go with a bit of a box. But yeah, the, I'm going to break the floor up a bit, make that a bit nicer. But yeah, that's where we're at at the minute, and we'll be back in a second. Okay, guys, so as you can see, now the room has basically been fully built. But I do feel we should go and check out what Cory's been doing this whole time. So let's go up to the top floor and let's see what Cory's been doing. So I believe you've been doing the control tower? Yes, I uh have. -huh. So the control tower basically is where everything's controlled and monitored from. So, so I believe we have a stair system so far. I believe we are possibly going to put the elevator up there at some point. But for now this... <laughs> This is essentially a working system what we've got so far. So we've got some computers, clocks, and it does look—it looks pretty cool. Though, I must admit. Why don't here. we show some people what it looks like from the outside? Okay, so I believe the stairs to get down are here, and from an outside view, this does look pretty cool. That is a very good-looking tower, I must admit. So we've got the mess hall over there, which we built last episode, and we have the control tower. 
So yeah, I, th I think I'm gonna go and do some stuff with big reactors downstairs, and then I'll be back once I've got something more to show you guys. Okay guys, so as you can see we have done, we've done quite a bit of building in the actual the building, but we've decided to not show you through like a normal tour, but we're going to be doing a role play, and in that we're going to be showing you what we've done within the last, from this segment to the last segment of the video. So we'll be right back with a role play. Okay, so you're the new professor guy? Yep, I've just had my dinner at TFC. Okay, so would you like to hop on board? Well, I'll take you over to the control tower and science station. As you can see, there it is, that big black tower over there. Uh, that's not the only big black tower I've seen in my time. Okay, I'm sure this is some, you've seen some really, really interesting black towers in your time. As you can see, the train is almost there. And we have now arrived at the station. So if you'd like to follow me, sir. So is this like a little staff picnic area outside? Uh, yeah, this is a staff... This is the picnic area outside. You can go and um, enjoy yourself, have some nice food, wait for the train coming, maybe. Like, someone's left their cookies out, which is quite bizarre. I see you've just set the train on its way again. Okay, so here we have the caretaker's office. Just some very basic stuff in there, cleaning stuff. We have the La Toilette de Femme, which would be the ladies' toilets. Uh, oh, are you, something you're not telling me then, sir? Okay, and here we have the La Toilette de Homme, the gents. Uh, could you show me around in here? Just a very basic toilet. Since we have had a very limited amount amount of crew after the incident with the Scarangs, we have only had the need for two toilets in the building. And if you'll care to follow me upstairs, sir. Oh, you've already found found your way up there. But up here we have the observation room. So as you can see, we've got like files, piles of sorted paper, computers, observation computers. And some meteorite compass to check when the scarangs are going to be so what does attacking this us. Do? This is our alarm system. So we can see it just sounds to everyone if we're on, if we ever become under attack from the scarangs. See so if you'd like to follow me this way, sir. And I'll show you where you will be working. So would you care to follow me into the elevator? Why is, the, why is the employee gone? Oh, ha employee Howling Westy, where did you come from? Uh, I thought I'd catch the elevator at the last minute before it got too far down. Okay, I appear to have lost my uh, new employee that I was supposed to be towing around. But yeah, would you like me to show you around instead what we've done? Uh, yeah, show me the new reactors. So we have two brand new reactors. This one is set to produce steam only, and I believe he does actually need to be on. So there we go, I've just activated him. As you can see, the core temperature and casing temperature has gotten rather high, and we're producing steam at optimal levels. But due to the sheer size of these reactors, we have had to include quite a lot of water collection systems and a lot of transfer nodes to, tr to be able to transfer enough water into there that it can make enough steam at an opt optimum rate. Okay, so what does the turbines do? The turbines, at the minute, they are gathering enough speed to be able to run at an optimal level. So currently the coils are disengaged and we're not producing any power, but once the coils will be engaged, once it reaches an optimum level, then we are going to be producing a lot of power. So yeah, does that sound like a cool plan? So what's all this over here? So over here, this is where you, you're going to be working. This is our ex experimental lab where we just try and find out new interesting ways to create weapons to destroy the scarings. We have had a few new weapons that have, have come into fashion. We've got a few nuclear weapons. And I know nuclear weapons are your speciality, am I not mistaken? So over here we have a sharpening stone which we have used to on some of our tools. 
a bin, and we have a waste bucket and a bucket for our equipment. So that is basically the lab. So does that sound all cool? Yep, so is that the whole control tower? That is basically the whole control tower, yes. So could we have one last look from the outside? Uh, yes, if you will follow me. Since we have created the very special capability to be able to have flying capabilities, we can very easily we don't even need the elevator anymore. I'm just going to use the uh, the toilet to home. I'll be out in a minute. Okay, so as, you, so as you can see, this is the control tower. And yeah, guys, that is basically all we have time for in this episode. So yeah, that is the control tower. I'm sorry you guys couldn't see a lot of what we're building. We have been going for quite a long time now, just trying to get everything working and everything done. The reactors were a massive pain to do. I'm going to be honest, I really wish I had done them smaller now, but I suppose this is mega construction. We are supposed to build m things on a massive scale. Yeah, so... Uh... Thank you for watching, guys. Yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Goodbye from Potent Plum. And Howling Westy.